Lonzo Ball played his first and his second game in the summer league. And my projection is he's going to set all sorts of summer league records, attendance, TV ratings. And yes, Las Vegas sold out for the first time for a Lakers Celtics summer league game Saturday. 14 years, 30 bucks, uh, bucks a pop, they sold out. So my first prediction was I didn't know what his numbers were going to be. I didn't really care what his numbers were. Some guys just have a magnetism, and he's got it, and they sold out the games. And if you watch the games, it was live. Not just Celtics-Lakers, Lonzo was a big part of it. Now, a lot of people today are saying, Colin, did you see this and did you see that? What I saw was exactly what I thought I would saw. He is a very long and fluid athlete that defensively will not be a great on-ball defender, but because of his length will be a good team defender, a lot of tip passes. He is extraordinarily long for a point guard. He had 11 rebounds. He's going to have a lot of rebounds. He'll be a good team defender. He's not Russell Westbrook dynamic jamming at the rim. But he's got good range, though he was shaky shooting. He is a tremendous passer. He is very clever. And what he has, he has a style. This should not be marginalized. Let me explain. Not every great basketball player has a style. Paul George is a great basketball player. Doesn't have a style. Dr. J did, MJ did, Kobe did, Kareem and the Skyhook did. Bill Russell did, Iverson the crossover had a style, Magic Johnson's passes, Larry Bird shooting, I can look and see it right now. Not all great players have a style, Yao Ming, Paul George, I grew up as a kid, Kiki Vandaway, Alex English, I don't see him as real style mavens. Lonzo has a style. He is long and angular and clever and loose and fun. It's a style, and you see it develop. And I'll tell you why it's important. I'll make a little prediction here. That Steph Curry also has a style. He's the best ball handler in the league and the best shooter. And we have heard various reports over the last couple of years, two and three years, that young people are going into gyms, seven, eight, nine years old, and they want to be Steph. And they want to be Steph. And they want to shoot, and that's all they want to do, shoot threes. That's what basketball's always had over other sports. It's worship driven. So as a young boy, I grew up, had a favorite player, and I mimicked him. I didn't mimic my favorite baseball players, and I didn't copy my favorite NFL players. But as a kid, I would do a sky hook. And as a kid, I had certain guys, downtown Freddie Brown in Seattle, that I replicated the way he shot. What Steph Curry is doing to the three-point shot, changing seven, eight, nine, ten year olds in a gym, Lonzo Ball has the potential to do for passing, which is a really good thing for basketball. That passing wasn't always the coolest thing. Then Magic Johnson arrived and the behind the back pass reinvented. Lonzo Ball, what Steph did to shooting, Lonzo could do to passing. And maybe in three or four years, we look at these ball-centric point guards like Chris Paul and Russell Westbrook and James Harden and say, pass more and shoot less. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but he does have a style. It is very easy to spot, and I can't wait to watch it play out. Um, and, and, and let me say this. Being a Laker matters. People have compared him to Jason Kidd. But Jason Kidd came out and played for the terrible Mavericks, then the Suns, then the Nets. Had Jason Kidd joined the Lakers, and as big as Jason Kidd is, he would have been a legend. Now he's just a great basketball player. This is what Jim Harbaugh does to Michigan. Jim Harbaugh was crazy in Stanford. He's becoming a legend in Michigan. Brett Favre in Jacksonville is just a Hall of Famer. In Green Bay, he's a legend. John Calipari was well known. Then he took the Kentucky job. Now he's a legend. When you get style and personality and quirkiness, and it combines with Yankees, Kentucky basketball, Lakers, Barca, you know, Real Madrid, that's when you get superstardom. Because very few people have the ability of LeBron to be in Ohio and be a star. He's just absurd. Had Jason Kidd been a Laker first, 
his profile would be significantly bigger today because his numbers tell you he was remarkable. So Lonzo, if he averaged 12 and 11 assists, he will be a superstar in L.A. And in Orlando, he'd be a really, really good basketball player.